the Scottish Borders National Handicap Chase is next. It's a four mile naught to one thirty at the top. We've got the Bancher Man for Alex Cherry Castle Donington, Darren Thompson, Zami Thinker, Graham Clitterbrook was third in this last year. Lawnmower, Darren Thompson, Stravita Field, David Robson, Woodland Venture, David Hooley, Artisan Sundan, David Robertson, Blue Penny, Martin Lidham, Captain Mannering, Martin Lidham, Pride of America, Paul Rhodes, Irish Tony, Craig Beckwith, LOLA Lola, Padre Hogan, Shaw Will and Maggie Saucier, Obi-Wan, Blanche Nish, Alex Cherry and Gran Torino, Paul Rhodes. So 16 of them then, in what I think is the longest race of the week, they're away and racing, and Grand Torino. Just about the first to show from Captain Manor in the closest to us as they get to the first of the 20 that they've got to take. And they're all safely over the first of them with Castle Donington and the Bansher Man. The top weight's just the back two at this point. Four miles a long way to go carrying top weight. So they're obviously racing quietly at the back as they get to the second. And they're all safely over the second. And with Shaw Will in the yellow jacket now coming across to the rail to take the lead. And open up my two lengths to Gran Torino, the bottom weight in second. And Captain Manor is just poking his head in front of last year's third. Zami Thinker, last year's third, was also third in the Grand National as well. And just behind him, last year's Grand National winner, Blue Penny. Then on his near side, Blanche Neige is close up as well. Wide on the track, Padraig Hogan's at LOLA Lola, which is probably in the lead to the best named horse of the season I think when I first saw it I thought oh my goodness how do you say that and then when you look at it carefully it's quite easy so they get to the third and they're all safely over the third with Sean Will in the lead Gran Torino second and Zami Thinkar third and Blanche Neige uh, Captain Mannering and the LOLA Lola and Stravita Field the Bancher Mans after that one and then Maggie Saucier and Lorma Blue Penny in mid division as they take the fourth. Slow jump there by Captain Mannering. So that one just shuffle down the pack a little bit, but there's a long way to go. They're coming up past the stand and they've got another two full circuits to do. And Sean Will is in the lead. About four lengths or so. To Gran Torino second. Zami Thinkar third. And Blanche Neige on the rail is fourth. Captain Mannering in fifth, and it's Travita Field and Blue Penny, the Bancher Man, wide on the track, looking towards the back. Irish Tony is now the back marker as they take the fifth. Which they're all safely over. I'm sure we'll sit in a sensible gallop in the lead. Leads by two lengths to Gran Torino over Paul Rhodes in second, and Blanche Nesh third. And we think our four, Captain Mannering five, the Bancher Man six. And Maggie Saucier is 7, and Stravita Field is 8th, and we'll not mention 9. Then Casa Donington 10, and LLA Lola after that one. And then Blue Penny and Artisan Sundown, Lorma, Pride of America, and finally Irish Tony as they get over the 6th, which they're all over safely. Sure will. Quite happy bowling along in the lead, coming to the 7th. Took that a little slowly, but we're still safe enough. The rest of them all over it okay again, one or two. A little ponderous, but safe enough. And Shaw Will is in the lead by two lengths to Gran Torino second. And it's Cherry Perry now third and fourth as they get over the eighth. A uh, mistake there on the outside was by Ello, that was by Stravita Field. And Woodland Venture is now the new back marker. And Shaw Will leads to Gran Torino second. Blanche Nesh and Debancherman and Maggie Saucier, Zami Thinkart, Blue Penny. Captain Mannerin, Pride of America, he's making a bit of a forward move as well. Lawn mowing with that little group. Castle Donington's also now closest it's been to the lead as they get over the ninth, which they're all safely over. And Shaw Will leads by maybe as much as four or five now, and the rest of the field are then covered by only ten. But it's Shaw Will in the lead, into number ten. And over it they go. All safely over it. Oh, as Amy think I was very untidy. Oh, he's lost a few places. And it sure will still. Gran Torino now joined by Blanche Nez and the Bancher Man. And Maggie Saucy had just heads the chasing pack. Castle Donington, Pride of America, Captain Mannering, Blue Penny. And LOLA Lola behind them. And Lorne Murray and Zami Thinkart. Stravita Field and Artisan Sundown. And finally Woodland Venture and Irish Tony. Coming up to 
coming down towards the next. They're inside the final two miles now. And sure will. That's led pretty much all the way so far. Once it got to the lead, it stayed there so far. So they get over this next one and they're all safely over that one. Jumping well. Sure will in the lead. Blanche near second. Castle Donington. One of the top weights who was at the back earlier has now moved quietly through into third. Gran Torino still there in fourth. Then Maggie Saucier and Debancha Man. Captain Mannering's now switched to the inside. Yellow LA Lola is still going around the outside. Captain America trying to get into it as well as they get over the 12th. And all over that one with Irish Tony and Woodland Venture still towards the back. But the leader is only leading by two now as they come up past the stand. They've got one more circuit to go. And sure will. He's leading past the winning post by about a length and a half to Gran Torino in second, Castle Donington third, Blanche Nish fourth, then Captain Manorin on the inside of Maggie Saucier and Pride of America, a little bit of a gap then to Blue Penny and Law Murray and Zami Thinkar then Artisan, Sundown and Stravita Field trying to get a little bit closer as they take the next and the lead changes for the first time as Gran Torino goes on, so Gran Torino then has gone on by a length, Castle Donington on its outside is second, Shaw will still there in third, stable mate Maggie Saucier is in fourth, then Blanche Nish, Captain Manor in quietly on the rail, tucked in behind that one, Zami Finkar's now got back in to the leading group, well it's Gran Torino, leading by two, into fence number 14, all jumped over that one nicely with Gran Torino a length and a half up on Sean Will who's now moving back out around the outside to try and regain the lead as they get over this next one and then over that one okay a bit of a slower jump though by Castle Donington and it's Gran Torino who leads from Sean Will second Castle Donington third then Blanche Nish on the outside of Captain Manor in Artisan Sundown come through from nowhere as they get over the 16th Blue Penny a good jump on the outside is now getting into it as well and they're inside the final mile now, and Gran Torino is in the lead from Shaw Will. Castle Donington, Artisan Sundown, Captain Mannering, Blanche Nesh, Blue Penny, Woodland Venture, Zami Thinkar, Irish Tony, Pride of America, all in with chances as they make their way to the next. This is four for home. And over that one, it was a really good jump by Castle Donington. Seeing that one go up alongside Gran Torino. Captain Mannerin is looking for racing room on the inside. He's a bit boxed in. A sure will just drops back a little bit. The Irish Tony looks to be going exceptionally well. Stravita Fields is now running on. Over the third last, they're going a mistake there by Artisan Sundown. And it's Gran Torino. Castle Donington. Captain Mannerin. Pride of America. Stravita Fields. Sure will is still there. Irish Tony's still there as well. So is Artisan Sundown. They've got two to jump. And it's Pride of America. Who's in the lead? Pride of America then by two from in second place Stravita Field. Then comes Gran Torino and Artisan Sundown. Captain Mannerin still there. Castle Donington with a big weight starting to go backwards. Running on though is Lawmower. Irish Tony is still there as well, but racing towards this second last. It's Pride of America who's suddenly gone four clear of Stravita Field and Artisan Sundown. Captain Mannerin under pressure. And Gran Torino trying to battle back over the second last. That's the final ditch. They're all over that one, okay. And they're racing down towards the final fence. Pride of America's in front. Lead. David Robertson pairing hot pursuit. It's Pride of America Artisan Sundown. Then comes Stravita Field. Lorma, Captain Donington, and Captain Mannerin are trying to race on as well. They're coming down towards the final fence there now. And Pride of America leads into it. Gets over it nicely. Jumps away from it well. Better jump by Lorma up the centre of the track. It's Pride of America from Lorma. These two are clear of Artisan Sundown down in Castle Donington and then Captain Manor in with Pride of America being pressed now by Lormo. Lormo is beginning to get up on the outside and Lormo is getting off to take it. It's Lormo that's going to win it up towards the line. Lormo is going to take it. It's going to be close for second Pride of America and Captain Donington in Artisan Sundown. Maggie Saucier ran on well and sure will the long time leader went at the last and Darren Thompson's Lormo Blazing the train up the centre of the course and takes it. So Lormo for Darren Thompson, the winner. Pride of America, Paul Rhodes, was second. Castle Donington, Darren Thompson again was third. Artisan Sundown was fourth for David Robertson. And Maggie Saucier for Obi-Wan ran on really well to be fifth.